Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna update our iPhone to iOS 13. And I waited a little bit because some of the beta versions and even the first version of iOS 13 had a lot of bugs, but now they've updated it a week after its release. So I wanna show you how to download and install it. If you have an iPhone 6S or later, and you could also do this to your iPad, you could take advantage of iOS 13. And at the end of the video, I wanna show you my top three favorite things that come with iOS 13, such as dark mode. Let's jump into the phone, download and install iOS 13, and wait till the end to see my favorite options. So before you get started, just make sure you connect your lightning cable here so your phone is connected to a power supply, and then go to your settings app right here, and inside the settings app, you want to go to general. So just scroll down in the middle of the page, press general, and then you should have software update. So I'm on iOS 12 already, and I'm gonna update to iOS 13. Go ahead and press that. And here, if you press learn more, you're gonna see everything that it has to offer iOS 13, including dark mode cameras and photos. Some of the things I'm gonna talk about at the end of the video, but over here, if you don't have enough storage, it's gonna give you a storage warning, so you'll need to remove some things from your phone. But if everything is all set up, it's too, gigabytes and you could download and install. So I'm gonna press that here, type in your passcode and it's gonna take you to terms and condition page here. So go ahead and check that out if you need to and then press agree on the bottom of the page and then press agree one more time. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi here, but it's still gonna take a little while to install. This is 13.11, the update right after the original iOS 13 rolled out. So the download is complete and now the installation, there's gonna be a little pop-up that I got and I pressed install. You could also install later. This is gonna take a little while. So after the download, the install will take a little bit of time. So make sure you're okay not having your phone accessible to you. Next, you're gonna see the Apple logo and this progress bar on the installation. So your phone is not gonna be available while this is going down, but I'm gonna let this installation finish and show you what happens next. Once the update is complete, you'll have to go ahead and unlock your phone one more time and I'm gonna press continue here. And if you don't have Apple Pay set up, you could set it up now, I'm gonna set up later. And here is the biggest update of iOS 13, which is light mode and dark mode. And I'll make a little bit more in-depth video about some of the advanced features here. But if you wanted to choose light mode here, you could do so or just the default light mode. I'll do dark mode and press continue and you're all set with your new iPhone here. So now that you have iOS 13 installed, let me show you my favorite options. The very first one we just talked about right now, which is dark mode, but you could come to display and brightness and you could turn this on and off. This is a huge update that people have been asking for for a very long time. You could also toggle dark mode on and off by coming over here and pressing this display brightness option. And as you could see on the bottom, you could turn the dark mode on and off just like that on the corner here. So dark mode is definitely the biggest update, but not my favorite. I'll get to that in a second. The next one is subtle, but very helpful. This volume up and down button is no longer what happens in the middle of the page. You'll basically get this little icon here where you could toggle the volume on and off and up and down just like this with your finger, which is super helpful using these two options to basically bring this little graphic up and down. And because of that option, I'm not gonna go in depth on this one, but your headphone option is now available where you could share with two Bluetooth headphones. So if you have two headphones that are wireless, you could actually use one iPhone to send audio to two headphones. I'll make a more in-depth video about that one a little bit later. 